Okay, so a lot of stuff's happened. Um, Savannah got this facade painted. Uh, Max did the trim for it. That's gonna go up. I'm probably gonna start on that next. I started getting this framework done for Hell's Gauntlet um, at the end of the slaughterhouse, so that's starting to come together. I'll give a more thorough walkthrough later tonight. Um, I have to screw this panel in at some point and then put wood over it, and the only way for the actor to get in is gonna be climbing through this hole, but whatever. Um, Max also did the Bubba Slaughter Company, which I really like. Um, now they're both in here painting. Um, we put up two pieces of trim, and I really like that look, um, but then we figured probably better idea to paint for the trim. Um, so this is looking really nice, um, and this table's moved out for now. Um, and I think that's that's just about it, but we've made a lot of progress for, what, two hours maybe? Uh, so, yeah, lots of stuff getting done, which is good, so that's it for now, guys. All right, guys, so Savannah left to take Max home, and then she's coming back for a few hours. Um, so they got all this room painted, um, which looks really nice. I love the scheme with... Um, the top, the trim, and the bottom. And the trim I'm just going to age up but keep white. And you can see even these drips look good from on top. So right now what I'm doing is going around and finishing trim in here. Uh, and to trim this room was about 22 bucks for a pack that's for a door. It was like a door pack, so it was five of these lengths um, that are like seven feet. So um, I think that was very much worth it. So Because uh, I think it was like 66 cents a foot. I think I already said that on the vlog, but whatever, you know? Um, so I think it's very much worth it to trim this room. Um, it just adds so much of an element. Um, again, it's on what you can afford, but I really like the look of it and I can afford it. So, ha! Ah. Um, yeah, so it looks good. So I'm excited. So Savannah's camera shy and she's going to hide in the back room. Um, but we got this whole facade trimmed out. It's gonna look really nice once I paint wash it. I don't like paint washing with other people here because I know how my body handles the, uh, hey Dad. I know how my body handles the spray paint fumes, but I don't know how people like Savannah will handle it or if they'll get second hand high off of it. And I don't want that. So, um, so then I think showed that. Can't go through because this table is being stored here. Um, but we're gonna work on this room here and what we did was we got this piece up, a panel put here, and this I'm not sure what I want to do. It's really only eight feet high for the slaughterhouse on the other side, which is the same with this because it's the only eight foot high piece out of the taxidermy. Um, but here we needed an extra six inches out. So what we did is rather than filling it in completely, um, we took a hunter lesson and we're gonna have the light on the other side serve as a distraction. So you look in, take the advantage, look in, and bam, the guy on top of the cuddle shack will get you. So that'll be really good. So that is what we're working on now. And we cut down these pieces and we're gonna use them to make um, panels. That's the word here. So that is it for now, children. Hey guys, so um, working in the shed, Savannah is filming. Say hi. Hi. Um, I'm working on getting these pieces up. Uh, this is going to be like a voodoo type shed. Um, so I, this table that's here that's hard to see, um, it's going to be in this corner, but I have to get this wall finished or get these pieces over this corner before I can move it into this corner. Shit. Uh, And then, so I'm gonna do that, and then move the table in, and then this whole scene's just gonna be all this patchy wall work, and it's gonna look kinda sketchy, but it's gonna look really cool. So, um, and as you can see, we got these two panels up and painted black, so. Uh, that's what we've been up to, and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so we're both beat, and we're, I think, done for the day. Um, but, so as you can see, we detailed this whole scene. Got this really awesome old mirror that I found in here. Um, I have a ton of old flowers, dolls, the soulless ginger, um, all these different pieces, um, adding together the wicker baskets, which is really, really nice. Uh, this thing, to screw it in, I put a screw in the bear's head, which was kind of rude of me, but whatever. And so yeah, that is this scene. I'm probably gonna roof it at seven feet, and these panels go up to eight feet because of the slaughterhouse being on the other side. So, um, 
So, yeah, but I really like this look. There's a lot to see in this scene, and it's like a good, quick scene. Um, actor hole here, obviously, and I'll put doorway toppers here and here, and then I'll have fabric hanging in all three doorways and thicker in this doorway so that people don't choose to go that way. Um, and I think kind of because the mirror angles them this way, it's going to be more natural to continue straight through. So, yeah, that is it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, that's, yeah, I'm just going to do this one vlog, uh, but a lot of progress was made. Um, and gosh, I love the taxidermy room too with the, the trim. That is beautiful. So, that's it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. And Court may be coming over to help tomorrow, if you remember him from last year, Mabroski. Later.